our students, Brian Proctor, the art teacher, back again with another video. And I'm feeling a little better today. I have my voice. Let's see how long I can keep it without coughing. Thinking about coughing makes me want to cough. All right, so the last video I did, if you didn't see that, go back, check it out. I talked about drawing your character in a more dynamic position. I think that was what it was called. But what I did when I, I was I showed you how to use the perspective lines to do your character using these lines. And you keep it on the lines and it's really simple. So I thought I would expound on that a little bit more because when I edited it, edited it I kind of like left it in the open because there's so much more you can do other than the just standing position. So what, what I want to do is I want to draw a couple positions using these lines going up and maybe the next video I'll do one going down and then do some videos. I want to do one on storytelling because somebody asked me how do you start a story and I was thinking about trying to find some of my um, comic books like the first pages that I did to show how I started this how, how I started my story and why I did it that particular way so again let's do this this is how you start out whether you draw it or you can see it in your head you have your eye line which is what you see where your head is this is your head um, these are your eyes this is what you see from whatever position you are in this is the line an invisible line that you see now, if you get on your knees, you're going to be seeing above that. If you go up, you're going to be seeing below that. What am I saying? <laughs> I'm saying anything above that line. Now, I got it right now. Anything above this line, if you look up and you see an airplane, you're going to see the bottom of that airplane. If you look down and you see a whatever, a hot wheel car, you're going to see the top of that hot wheel car. Okay, that's just, just, just natural. This is a goofy hot wheel car. This is a Craigslist hot wheel car. So for like a dollar fifty because somebody found it in the dirt. Okay, so yeah, I should have used a square. Should have used a square. That's just the simple thing. Again, let's just do that. Not to make this video too long. If you look at a square or a cube, this is what you're gonna see when it's like right in front of you. If that cube floated up, you're gonna see this. As you see in the bottom, if that cube float it down below your chin, you're going to see this, okay? I mean, I think everybody knows that. You see in the top, you see in the bottom. So, same thing, if I took a person and he flew up above me, I'm gonna see more of the bottom of the person, depending on two things, how close he is to me here or way over here, and how high the person is to me, how high above my eye line he is or she is. So with that in mind, I'm going to do these quick drawings using these lines. I don't know, maybe I'll use the lines. Maybe I'll just kind of do it from memory. We'll see. So see if I can keep this thing under 20 some minutes. So I want to kind of do both of them on one page. We'll see. But when I tend to draw, I tend to draw a particular size. So let's just 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 know, I don't think I'm gonna crowd it with a lot of lines. Just know my eye line is gonna be somewhere down here and we're going, we're doing this. Okay, we're using these upper lines like that. Okay, so basically if you do this, if you take flat up and you do a triangle like that, half of a triangle, a triangle that fell down and you just take some points Take some points. You can have as many points as you want. Like that. And then you just draw your lines to this point right here. And of course, I don't have a ruler. So, but basically keep that in your mind that this is what I have on the paper as I draw these figures. <coughs> okay, so bit of a dry cough, but it's not bad. Now, usually when I first start, I start out with the shoulders, and I'm going to try to, like I said, I'm trying to get keep two figures on the paper. I have like one going this way and one going the opposite way. So let's see what we can do. So I start out with the shoulders, and I gotta go back here again. Shoulders, let's say I don't necessarily have to use the top line, or you don't necessarily have to use the top line, but I'll use one of these lines here, and then I'll have my shoulders going that way and then I can do my oval or I can do my square or however I choose to start the position so 
having room for the head. Let's see, try to make it a little smaller. And I'll, the, the shoulders determine everything else. Let's go red. Maybe you can see red a little better. Yeah, without me going too dark or too hard with the blue. So this is going to go this way, like this, okay? It's going to go that way. So I'm going to do this. Remember, these are, this is the top of the shoulders, or it can be the collarbones. Collarbone, collarbone. And I'm going to go, going to do a little curve around, okay? So if you have this ball and you're looking up at it, well, son, yeah, and it's kind of hard, but we'll use this. We'll use this as the bottom thing. So if you have this ball and you're looking up at it, you're going to see the bottom of it. So whatever I plaster on the bottom of it, you're going to see that as well. So meaning if I'm going to do the tuna can like this, you're going to see that, okay? So if I do the upside down house as well, it's still going to be, I don't really change that shape too much, the upside down house, because it rounds off naturally once you throw everything in there. So again, this angle depends on how far it is uh, from me, how high it is from me as well. So we're going to do this. Just know that the shoulders determine everything. And we're going to go from there. All right, so what I'm going to do here is a female. So I'll do this. So usually when I do a female, if I do this, then I will do a wider house at the bottom. Can you see that? There are numbers on my screen, so it's kind of hard to me. It, I can't see through those numbers on my screen. Countdown numbers, count up numbers like that. Or I'll do my triangles like this. It depends on the position I'm using, so yeah, bear with me on that one. So like this one, I could have done this. I'm come, I'm going to come down, but I always do the the triangle for the hips, for the hips, hips, right? Or that's the K. That's the letter K. Something else I show you how to do, women. If I'm doing the body of a woman, I'll do the letter K like that. Except I'll pull it apart like that. K, round it off. And you have more of a rounded position. So, um, center line. And then where's your crotch? Here. And your shoulders there. And it's really simple to draw a woman. So let's continue this. So I'm going to do this. And this is a little small, but you can see it. I, I, at least I know it'll stay on the page. So I have my center line here, somewhere around here. This is where the crotch is. So let me bring this out just a little bit more. Let's just say... I'm going to bring her leg back, the leg back, and then bring this leg up a little bit because women usually tend to bend their legs in positions, action positions. It's just a female kind of action thing. So oval, and then circle, and then I'm going to bring this leg back here. So this is my calf. This is the calf. And this is the whatever this part of the leg is, shin, I guess, I don't know. And then put that foot back. Turn your paper, put that foot back. Somehow like that. So this other leg is going to curve around. So you're going, you're going to have your, again, you're going to have your oval. Let me see if I can do draw through with the blue. Can you see that? Oval. You're going to have that circle. And then you're going to have that triangle 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 cone like so so we're gonna have the calf and then the other foot is gonna come down like that is that too long i think that's right i'll, I'll see it later always stop walk away from your drawing or just turn it over and then come back and then you'll see if things are right it could be a little bit it could be a little bit too long <coughs> so female let's do the head I want to do her head tilted forward a little bit because like she's looking down and the shoulder length determines the uh, size of the head so from here, we have the chest or the breast for the woman. Same thing here, we're gonna have this curve and it's gonna curve up. So what I like to do, and I'm grabbing my paper again, if I'm doing the female, I will do a heart, upside down heart, you know? 
I'm not going to say I had to look at a lot of breasts to, 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 <laughs> to find that shape. But I look at stuff and I try to see what shape is close to. So that's the easiest shape that I found, the heart. You separate it, and this is going to go up to the neck. But for my collarbone right here, you already see that there is that is the resemblance of the breast, depending on how big the heart is. So even if you turn the heart to the side, it still works. So if I'm doing a side like this, I will have the heart. And one lump goes in front of the other when you turn, just like that. So you have that the breast shape. And of course, it goes into that. And it all depends on the size of the breast that you, you choose to make. But one thing about this bone right here, this is a bone. This is that, that, um, that, um, my brain is two sentences ahead, so I forgot that one. You're, you're, yeah, that. And the breast sits, it, it kind of like rides down this. It basically sits on that bone. And you have the other one. Of course, again, that depends on how big the breasts are. So it won't be kind of, there should be some separation between the two, unless it's just big again, going on the breast again. It shouldn't be just like one piece. It separates and it sits on those rib cage. Thank you, Brian. There you go, rib cage. This is your rib cage. You have this one and you have this one that follows that curve of that rib cage like that. So usually there's a separation in between, but when you when there's a clothing or bra or something on that, it will kind of push them together and you have just that one little piece. And this is what I do whenever I do like a female in clothes, I'll do that instead of having that opening. But without, there will be a bit of a separation right there. And then this arm is going to be right here, which is just circle, oval, and then your um, cylinder. Cylinder? Not cylinder. Come on now, Brian. Cone. Cone. It's going out to millions of viewers, you wish. You got to get it right. So... There you go, and then this one here we can have it like this. You won't see that. You won't see the uh, circle, cylinder, and then the cone. The cone. And the thing is, look at the last video, and you'll understand how everything needs to go on this line if it is all uniform, like if everything is down together. But when one hand goes up or one leg goes up. And it's totally different. But as long as you have this, this, the stuff that won't move, the waist, uh, yeah, but your knee, one knee will go up, one elbow will go up. Just as long as you have the, the again, straight, then you're good to go. So, get my neck is going to here. And the shoulders, I might be able to bring that shoulder in a little bit more, taking my eye off of it and not seeing it for a second. You don't want your shoulder too far from that. So it's going to curve in and go up like this and then come down. So it was close, it was close. Like that. So I think I'll ink this off camera. Just to save time, so I've did my center line right there for my face. And I always give, I give a point for the female's chin. And then up, however my head is, this. And you really won't see any shoulder there. It'll just curve down right into that breast. Depends on the angle. Depends on the angle. So we have this. We have a little waist. And we have this curved going into that leg. Here, you won't see this. So just by using that, again, depends on how high the person is compared to wherever your eye level is. So if my eye level was here, goes over here, these lines would probably go up like this, a little straighter. Depending on where that, that point is, if this is my 
head. This is my eye level right here. It goes, if I had it way, way, way over here, then these lines like that would be good. But if my point was here, these lines would be up. And that would be a hard, hard angle to see the, um, for drawing that character. So I will draw another character over to this side, but I will switch sides so that you will see the other side. So it won't be, it won't be on both sides because I was going to do male and female this way, but I decided to change it up and do it the other way. So, okay. So I would have liked it to have it a little bigger, um, but at least it fits. It's best to go off. I'm not, I'm not that good where I can just draw a head here and a foot there. Not yet anyway. So I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to go up. These lines are going to go down this way. So let me get um, just a few guidelines. Now, a lot of times I don't know exactly if I'm just drawing. I won't know exactly how much of an angle to put it on until I draw that first part of the shoulder. So I'm going to do this without him going too far off. I'm going to do this. So we're going to go ahead and about right like that. About right like that, right? Yeah, about like right that. <laughs> this is what I do. What I should do anytime I do the beetle. And my shoulder is going this way, so my chest has got to go this way. See, I, I'll forget. This has got to go this way as well. Any any guidelines that are, are not movable needs to stay on that line. And a lot of times, I'm, I'm so used to just drawing that I forget. So that's why you use your guidelines. That's why you use your guidelines. All right, so we have this which is going to go that way too. And it's going to be the same with her. So basically I could have did this and then just this. Could have almost used the K, but I don't like using the K on um, men. And here is my upside down house. So if you use those three pieces, your oval, your tuna can, I will always call it that, and your upside down house, then you're pretty good. So let's do this guy's leg here, oval, circle, and then of course your, that shape. <laughs> so, okay, this one, I'm going to have his leg bent more forward. So what I'm doing is a circle or oval. His knee is going to be right here. So that's like that's that's like drawing a cone cone. That's the shape I was trying to say. I just added that to my inventory, so it's gonna be hard for me to get used to that. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, cone. Drawing a cone like this. You know, cone the ones you see, the orange cones you see in the traffic in the street, traffic cone, just a cone. All right, or ice cream cone for those who are, are hard to do. Okay, draw a cone. You draw ice cream cone upside down. Flip it upside down. And then you just chop off the front. So this is basically from the side, what you're seeing. So if you have this and this, you have this, which is this. You're looking down at it. If you're looking straight down at it, this is going to be in the center. If I tilt it forward, let me see, because I've got a little piece that might just work for you guys. And this is where my video gets so long. Okay, so this is the cone. It's wider and narrower. If you look at it straight down, you'll see it just like this. If you look at it, from an angle, you'll see more of this. If you turn it this way, you'll see more of that. But you will always see this opening. And this is going to be round in the back. Okay, so we have this. And then let's just say, where am I putting my knee? I put my knee like down here. So this represents my knee. So you're going to see all of this. Okay? And all that is, is that's just like this. Okay? So as we continue. So that's going to be the, the leg up. And then we're going to have the other part back here. So the knee is going to come down. You have this part of the leg, which is this, and then the uh, calf, and then this. 
other part, what is that? The shin, I guess, and then you're gonna have the foot. Like that. So you're gonna have that. There's a, there's a, uh, there's a dip in your knee. When you do your knee bent, there is like a dip in your knee that separates. That allows it to bend. I, I saw a thing on knee knee construction, how the knee is made, and I still still can't get it. But it's squared off, and there's like a little dip right there, and then you can, yeah. It's going to squish your calf right here, but your calf is strong enough to leave that kind of an indentation, and then you have the rest of your leg like that. So we have this, my calf. Foot, and whenever you're flying, you kind of want your feet down. If not, if I put the foot flat, it would look like he was standing, maybe doing some hopscotch or something like that. So yeah, you just you just kind of always have your foot. It doesn't have to be pointed like women. Women usually tend to point their feet, or it is for us to draw a woman pointing the foot. I guess it looks more sexier. I guess sex sells in comics. So whereas a man's foot is usually not pointed like that. Okay, so we have this, and I'm just gonna put his arms like straight down. At the chest, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bulk that chest out a little bit more, so just make it rounder. And it's gonna come off of that line to give him more of rounder. So we have this, 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 this. Knees are, are um, not together so of course you draw them however and then you're gonna have this same thing belt you're gonna have this and these since these are gonna be straight down kind of have them on the same line and then we're gonna have this and I'm putting curve in it but you know that it is just that Cone, yes, cone, get it right, Brian. Cone. Because it's wider here and narrower here. Wrist is gonna be a wrist. Wrist is gonna be on the same thing, your, your same line. Your hand is gonna be on the same line. And then you do something with the head. So I'm gonna round this off a little bit just to give them that, that um, roundness. So this is going to come here. It's actually shaped like this. It cuts across the chest because when you have those striations, it's going to be like that. Give this man some superhero arms because he goes to the gym on Thursdays. But I'm going to ink this and um, fix it up a little better. And then I'm going to see where I can put that head at. And he's gonna be looking right at you. Square it off, then come up, then make the head. When I do the man, whereas the female, I do a V. Of course, he's gonna have that big, thick neck. And of course, depending on the size of the shoulders and the angle of the, the distance that he is up, I guess that's the word I'm trying to say. You will see some shoulders or you won't see some shoulders. If he's got big, massive shoulders, you will see them unless he is, is that angle is like really hard, hard going up angle. You'll know when you draw it. up more because it's going this that way bicep so what we have here because I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna ink it off camera save some save some um save some time that's what I'm saying is the perspective as they go up and across as I say, once you bend the legs or you bend the arms, then they're not going to fall on that same line, but your shoulder will, your bottom of your rib cage, get it right, will, you know, your hip will, unless you deliberately tip 
the hip, twist the hip like Spider-Man or something. But as long as you've got that shoulder right, the, the collarbone and that shoulder right on that angle, it's good because I mean, I could twist it this guy up like he's holding both his legs up in the air, you know, and it changes everything. But the shoulders are always going to be there. And that tells you that that person is above you. So if you look at any kind of team drawings, like a comic book with team drawings and the flyers, they, uh, this is how they do the flyers this way, used by using those perspective, two point perspective. That's basically what it is. A point over here, where's my fingers? A point over here and a point over here that goes up and have that center. Anything in the center will just be just be straight, just be like straight on. You have a little more curve because you're looking up. Why don't I just draw somebody in the center? I don't know why. I didn't, I'm not, but yeah. So he's not gonna remain there, but I'm just showing you in the center. This is what it would look like if somebody was in the center, except like I said, this would be curved up, this would be curved up. Everything in front would have a curve to it. be curved the abs will be curved you would see a little bit of you would see underneath the crotch this would be curved um, depending on how much down these lines are <sighs> the knee there's really no curves unless you put like straps or something across his legs and then the feet what I would do if I was doing that with the feet I would put his feet up like this like he is floating or well, he's above me like that so this circle this would cylinder would be like this this cylinder would be there and his hands would be on his or however i decided to put his hands he could have his hand out here like where's the thumb would be on the inside it's not on the inside or outside i don't know dyslexia circle oval cone and then his hand could be like here, like, hello, citizens. Yeah, his thumb would be here. We are the flying group. We all can fly and you cannot. So that's why you suck and we are superheroes. Yeah, so Drake dropped these legs down a little bit more. But that's what would happen if you put somebody on in the center. And I'm going to erase this. And I know somebody's going to say, Brian, you should have left it. But no. These are the stars. This is just, he retired. He was a leader. He retired. Why? Because he got fat. He got fat. He liked too much chicken and potatoes. So he got fat. So he couldn't represent the group, you know, because he's just, you know, out of shape. So <laughs> I love comics. I'm going to cut this now and I'm going to ink this and I'll be back in a split second without the fat retired uh, leader. His name was Pedro. Yeah, he was Pedro. Too much chicken and potatoes. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right, here we are with the finished product. Um, I inked it. Something I was going to say. Oh, when you do your character and you want to keep him up in the air and keep him off of the um, your eye line, you just you just put them higher up on the, on the, the line. I didn't have, these are not really the proper vertical lines or whatever you call these lines. <clears throat> but if you want to keep the guy high or keep the character high, just keep her up, you know, away from your, which is down here, your eye line. <clears throat> so that is how you properly draw somebody usually flying or above you using your bird's eye view vertical lines i don't know if these are vertical lines or lines so it's probably so, oh the chin the chin notice i did a little triangle under the chin because usually when you when you tend to when you draw somebody's head and this is i'm going off now and the chin is like this here's your nose here's your eye usually you have skin that goes down to your neck like that okay a lot of times people don't draw that they usually don't draw that so if you draw up and up view people tend to just kind of bring that chin down like this and then just bring the mouth up and the nose up and it kind of like okay yeah he's he's looking up with chin but if you ever do that make your chin and then do like a little v here to show that you have the bottom of your, your your chin, your neck, chin, chin, whatever this little, little, little part that hangs down like that is. 
and then you can have your triangle which goes out and that's just a good way to if he's not looking down if he's like looking just straight straight on you know at you and you're just if he's looking just straight on and your angle is looking up and you show the bottom of that that's a good way to do it because you a lot of times in in, in anime if they do they'll just do this like that in certain drawings anime and to me when you just do that little bulge this it just looks kind of weird so i just kind of like do the more of a triangle kind of and don't join them together and then you have the bottom of your your chin like that so that is going to be it it's enough knowledge for you guys for the day so hopefully next week will be on time hopefully this one will be on time and uh, I will see you guys uh, in the next video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a comment if there's a question you want to know. And tell a friend if you're liking what you're seeing and your friends are trying to learn to draw as well. All right, that's going to be it for this week. Hopefully they won't say, oh, you draw naked women and demonetize me. But either way, I'm going to put it up. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video later.